some people. So um, this video is going to be about being a half Korean and living in K-Town and what that's like. So I just thought it was an interesting subject since I had posted a video on what it was like to be half Korean in Korea. So I figured there's probably some half Koreans out there that are wondering what it's like to be half Korean and live in K-Town LA. So I've been here for about two and a half years. So soon after my uh, trip to Korea, I wanted to move to LA to be closer to work. And then I decided on K-Town because it's awesome. And it's very similar to Korea. So the restaurants and the clubs and just the general feel uh, really feels like you're sort of in Korea, even the look of the buildings and stuff, which I really like. And um, it really made me feel more connected to my Korean side. Um, so some of you might be wondering, uh, what is the ethnic makeup of K-Town? So K-Town is primarily Korean still. Um, back in the day, it was like very much just Korean. I, I don't even know if it was had any diversity whatsoever because at least it felt that way uh, being a young kid and be, always being in K-Town because my grandparents lived here, my great-grandparents lived here, my mom, my aunt, my uncles grew up here. So uh, we were in K-Town all the time and uh, back in the day it was, it definitely did not feel cool to be half Korean. Uh, it, we stuck out like sore thumbs. Me and my brother, we would just tag along with my mom to the market and restaurants and stuff and we would get so many looks from Korean people and not like the friendly kind of looks either so not like you know how Korean ladies are and they're like seeing a cute kid and they're like I put out so cute and no it wasn't like that it was sort of like kind of glares so I didn't have very good memories of coming to K-Town other than coming to visit my grandparents and my great-grandparents and stuff because uh, yeah they were always happy to see us so that was nice um, but yeah things have changed since then obviously uh, K-Town has a lot of history so uh, if you guys are not aware of the K-Town riots um, that was a huge event that happened um, you could just look it up and sort of get the facts on that uh, but there was a lot of, uh, it took a long time to rebuild after the riots and there was a lot of crime in K-Town and K-Town was seen as uh, an undesirable place and, and still to this day a lot of the apartments and houses have bars on the windows, not only on the first floor but the second floor just because there was just so much crime that was happening um, after the riots and during that time. So. Anyways, um, I think there's still a good amount of crime and uh, gang activity maybe that happens in K-Town, but it's just so much less. It's so much safer than I remember as a kid, uh, plus I live here. But anyways, uh, back to what I was saying, a few years back, I feel like K-Town started to become known as a place for like young professionals in their 20s or 30s that were looking for an apartment. You could find a cheap apartment in K-Town. Um, I don't know if it was necessarily safe, but you could definitely get your own apartment and it was affordable. So a lot of different ethnicities started moving to K-Town and uh, started going out in K-Town and, and other things drew people that were not Korean to be curious about K-Town. So, uh, since the time when I was growing up where it was just all Korean, a lot of like my white friends are curious about K-Town and K-Barbecue and they'll be like, hey, can you, can we go out to K-Town sometime and get dinner and like, can you take me to a K-Barbecue place? And I'm like, okay, sure. Um, because I love K-Town and I always say good things about it. Um, so yeah, I, uh. I'm happy out here. I can eat Korean food whenever I want and it's kind of cool too. I, I feel like comfortable out here because uh, I like seeing Korean signs up. I don't know. It just it makes me feel comfortable. Like I can read the signs. Um, I don't always know what it means, but uh, yeah, like I can, I just feel like it's part of me. So 
anyways, uh, moving on. Oh, also, if you guys aren't aware, there's a uh, uh, Korean taxi drivers, Korean taxi cabs in K-Town that only run in K-Town, and these old Ajishis always drive the taxis. Um, but I am nowhere near fluent enough to be able to utilize that service because, uh, yeah, I would call the number and they'd probably be like, what? So yeah, I, I haven't used it yet, so uh, I'm not fluent enough, so I'm working on that. Anyways, um, next question. Oh, but before the next question, um, so ethnic, ethnicity, diversity wise, um, it's getting a lot more diverse. In fact, the last time I was out in K-Town with my Korean friends, it was kind of weird because we almost felt like, wow, it's getting too diverse. Like, if that even makes any sense, but it was like, it happened so fast that all of a sudden we were at this coffee shop that we went to after dinner and we were looking up and we we're like, oh my god, there's so many white people here. And not that there's anything against that, but it was just like, kind of weird. I, I mean, it was like, there's like this point where you're like happy about uh, diversity in K-Town and then there's some parts where it's like, hey, this was like our little secret place that we wanted to keep to ourselves, but I guess we have to share. So <clears throat> moving on <laughs> to the next question, um, which was, I'm trying to think. Oh, um, so do Korean people in K-Town accept me as a half Korean. Um, and I can honestly say, and this is just amongst my friends, so I'll just speak on behalf of um, what they've told me, is um, they actually appreciate my enthusiasm for wanting to embrace my Korean side because some of them who grew up here, they don't even embrace their Korean side as much as they feel like I do. So that was like, such a great compliment to me and so that made me feel proud to be half Korean and and I always do my best to stay connected to both of my sides so um but overall um I will say that besides my friends who um I love going out with by the way because I always feel like as a half Korean when I go out in K-Town I'm not sure if the Korean servers and stuff know that I'm half Korean or see me as Korean. I don't think they do. And I always feel like maybe I don't get as much banchan as uh, full Koreans do or like if my mom goes with me. So, but that might just be in my head because I feel like a lot of the restaurants that I frequent a lot, they know that I'm half Korean and they sometimes I'll just like order in Korean just so they know that that way I can, uh, yeah, not get cheated on my banchan. So, um, yeah. Anyways, so Korean people in general, though, do they accept me? I feel like they do, but again, um, unless you really speak the language, I feel like there's this hierarchy of half Koreanness where if you speak Korean, you definitely get more respect and you're higher on this half Korean totem pole, I feel like. Um, that's just my feeling, though. Um, so yeah, that's one thing that I really truly want to work on and I I really have had an interest in learning my language um, for so many years and I took Korean 101 in college and I just, it, which was cool because I learned how to read the letters and I learned how to read although I didn't always know what it meant. Um, but it gave me a good foundation I feel like which uh, I still want to build on today and um, I've been told that uh, K-dramas are a good way to learn Korean, so if you guys can recommend any good K-dramas that you guys are into right now, um, go ahead and just like leave that in the comment section. Um, yeah, I think I covered pretty much everything. I don't know if I left anything out, but um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about living in K-Town as a half Korean, oh, also other half Koreans live in K-Town. I've met um, a good amount of other half Koreans and they also live in K-Town as well which is interesting to me because I feel like maybe we just feel comfortable here because we want to stay connected to a part of us and just it just feels comfortable here yeah I can't really explain it so yeah if you have any other questions let me know um 
anyways, I'll be posting more videos soon. Um, and thanks for watching. Okay, bye.